this video, we're going to be breaking down the Double Mug Blitz post patch and kind of a quick change that you need to be aware of. So, Madden did drop a patch this morning and they tried to save it. They tried to save this game. And unfortunately, they couldn't get it done. Let me explain. So, we're in Double Mug and we'll just do this out of Mid Blitz. You can do it out of Nickel Dog 3 Buzz or Mid Blitz. And basically what you would do is you would pinch your defensive line and you would slant your defensive line inside. And as you see here, when I pinch my defensive line, this is the patch that they basically tried to, to, to put in where when I pinch my defensive line, now I no longer um, have the it actually spreads this defense, which is super weird to me why they would do that. Um, it, it, it's, it's a Band-Aid fix. It does not make any sense. So here's the workaround. Just don't pinch your defensive line. So just slant your D-line inside, zone this guy out. Now you can still move these guys manually. Um, and what you'll see is this will cause that disengage to occur. Right there he did get picked up. But in general, um, this will still this will still do what you want it to do. I'll try to show it to you again here. You know, we'll just jet to the right. And there you see a gap pressure at the quarterback. And the reason this is really good is because if they block a running back, then, um, let's see if I can show you the blitz here. If they block a running back, a lot of times this can still disengage. As you see right there, that's against a blocked running back. And then now, just for fun, we'll block a tight end just to kind of show that. So if you ever accidentally pinch your line, just out of habit, just reset your D-line. And here's a tight end. And you see the tight end probably does the best, but we still glitch through and get an A-gap pressure. So... Um, yeah, that's, this is, this is the, uh, state of the game. I think they made Double Mug actually better. Um, yeah, they definitely didn't make it any worse. And here's a Max Protect. Max Protect does kind of pick it up, but you see that you're going to get really good sheds because it's a four-man. So, that's kind of the state of things. So, this is still the best defense in the game. If you want my full ebook on it, it's going to get updated post-patch, but in general, um, the, this is this is definitely the best. Now, uh, if you do want to get that ebook, just join the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. Every, you get everything for 10 bucks. All the updates, everything you want uh, to get better at the game, you get for $10 by being a school community member. And as you see, I mean, we're starting to really, really get this A-gap. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about, about this patch, that a lot of people said was coming to Madden, that I, don't, I do not see in here, is custom audibles. So... Obviously, they haven't released full patch notes, but you're supposed to be able to save your audibles game to game. Um, this was put into College Football 25, and it is not. You're not able to. You don't have the same thing that you had in College Football 25. While we're doing this, we'll talk about uh, a couple things that, uh, from a defensive perspective, that you need to know about. So, uh, dollar... My dollar defensive ebook has been uh, completely updated with everything that I'm going to show you here, and you'll just this way you just kind of can see. So this strong safety zone blitz is what I'm using now. It does not work on the left hash, as you see. If I run this on the left hash, it's not very good. But what a lot of people have started to do is they've started to use a concept from Madden 22, which is the play edge blitz three, and they're going to use this kind of cross blitz. So essentially, you're still only sitting four, right? It's just you're going to try to get a more of a loop blitz. Uh, sometimes this comes in, sometimes it doesn't. There you see it. And then the other thing that you, uh, want I want to show you about dollar, is that the free safety or strong safety zone blitz, as long as it's on the, the right hash, is still probably the best best four man blitz in the game. As you can see, still really effective. Now. Last thing I want to show you uh, is more coverage related. So for this, we're going to just go to um, free safety or strong safety zone blitz, and we're only going to send three. So what I want to look at is this outside third defending this corner route. So this was another thing that they said they were going to patch, that they were going to make outside thirds be able to play these corner routes. And we'll see if that actually occurs. You see he does not play the corner route. So I'm not exactly sure what this patch accomplished, but this is the state of the game post patch in Madden 25. If you guys want to get my updated ebooks with everything that you need to know to get better at the game, that is going to be linked in the description below.